So the next little top tip uh, is about what happens with your pelvis when we're walking. As you're walking along, we get this helical type pattern where these elephant's ear bones, the ilium, and this triangle bone, the sacrum, work as one, hopefully, in a really nice pattern of slightly tail wagging, slightly wheeling through the pelvis. And when we've had this experience of a twist, a pelvic torsion, the pelvis will want to stay in its stuck posture. Once you've done your exercises that we've just gone through to neutralize and to stabilize, we wanna give you as much relief as possible when coming up to standing. So we bring your hands across the top edge of the elephant's ear bone, the ilium, and we can bring your fingertips pointing down to the top of that triangular bone, that sacrum. And I'm pushing the thumb and the top of my hand down into the pelvic bones. And as I do that, I'm thinking of that shoulder shrug down that we just did, laying on the mat. So that my shoulders are shrugging down at the same time as my hands pushing into my pelvis, really giving some height into this lumbar spine. And then I get that walking action where I then start to really sense where my fingers are touching into those pelvic half bones, the elephant's, elephant's ears. We can get a sense of them giving us that helical pattern and being able to just rock and roll as we walk around the room. Thinking about that height in the spine, maybe wobbled over there. Um, enjoy.